senator vetoed a similar measure last year, but the new law will not require his signature. Dozens of protesters gathered outside a New Jersey immigration jail Tuesday to mark International Human Rights Day. Eight protesters were arrested after chaining themselves outside the Elizabeth Detention Center to show solidarity with detainees and families separated by deportations. There are many immigrants from the New York area who are processed through uh, the New Jersey detention center. So this is one of one of the uh, central processing areas is through New Jersey, and so it was very important to do an action here. There have been not one more actions in uh, across the country in Arizona, in California, in Chicago, and the community here in New Jersey wanted to stand in solidarity with the brothers and sisters across the country and say that it's time for President Obama to stop the deportation. Uh, the President Obama can do it with the stroke of a pen, um, can change the lives of millions of immigrants. The vigil was part of a national campaign to urge President Obama and Congress to pass immigration reform and end deportation quotas. Meanwhile, in Texas, an immigrant rights group is claiming to have uncovered nearly 100 immigrant detainees who remain jailed in El Paso despite being cleared for parole. The National Immigrant Youth Alliance says its organizers allow themselves to be detained in order to infiltrate the El Paso Detention Center. I'm Amy Goodman. Thanks so much for watching this report from Democracy Now!, your daily independent global grassroots news hour. We don't accept advertising or corporate funding, but rather rely on donations from viewers like you. Please make your contribution by visiting democracynow.org today. We need your support today to keep bringing you this hard-hitting, in-depth reporting.